All right. So All right. What do you have today? You have uh, presents? It's Christmas in July. Oh, yeah? It is. So we uh, had a pretty big delivery mm -hmm. today. One that I have been, well, actually, we've been waiting on for a long time. I think we put in the order the first week of April. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. And uh, more, more to that in a little bit. But what we're looking at, these are a serious upgrade. These are Aveo Engineering Zip Tips. Okay. They look like Vans wingtips, fiberglass wingtips. Mm -hmm. uh, but first of all, there there is a pretty noticeable, I mean, the quality of these is really, really great. They okay. did a fantastic job with the fiberglass working, the fiberglass on the inside, really, really well done. No voids. The gel coat looks really, really great. Uh, but the backstory on zip tips. So obviously Vans sends you as a part of the wing kit. You can, you know, it comes with, with fiberglass wing tips and you have your choices on what you want to do for lighting and in our rv7 we did you know all custom you know wingtip lights with uh, wig wags and wheel and strobes and all that but the value proposition of the zip tips is that you have everything built into one in these tips it saves a lot of time very very high quality led lighting as an example the the aft facing white nav mm -hmm. slash position light uh, our position light is they're built into the the back side of the or the aft the aft section of the wingtips as well as the rear facing strobes. Uh, this is the lighting module that you get, and you can see these are all all LED lighting all LED lights, and each lighting module has built in landing lights, taxi lights. It can do wig wag as well as position lights and strobes. Okay. So it is an all-in-one module that you know mounts inside of these wingtips and uh, well, they look fantastic too. Uh, you can see you got some pretty heavy duty, high-end wiring that comes with it, connectors here to make your life a lot easier for, okay. for wiring too. So um, super, super pumped about this. Uh, as you mentioned, uh, we ordered them back at the beginning of April and the logistics coordinator at Aveo is, is fantastic. Super nice guy. Uh, at that point in time, he thought that it was going to be like two weeks. And they had to set the ordering production. Yeah. And they didn't take two weeks. I think they took uh, about 10 weeks or so. Uh, but I could say they were well, well worth the wait. Yeah, and we weren't in a rush, but we did want to get this order completed just so we knew it was done, right? Absolutely. Like, yeah. It's going to be a little bit before we're needing them uh, yeah right? we're, we won't need these for for quite some time they, they do save a lot of work uh because they are so well made mm -hmm. uh, from the, the final assembly process sure. uh but to your point when we when we ordered the wings we knew we were going to go with mm -hmm. zip tips uh so we intentionally told vans don't send you know the default standard tips and some of the other supporting parts uh now there was a delay on these and you know at some point in time you know, we put another big order in. We're going to stop having big orders come. It'd be really expensive to ship these from from, van, from Vans, I'm guessing. Actually, shipping wasn't too bad from uh, Aveo. Aveo. Okay. I think it was about 100 bucks or so to, to have But it, it would just be logistically... Them. It would. To be know. another thing. Plus, it'd be all the additional work because we have to right. install our own strobes and lighting kit and cut the, you know, cut the leading edges to put the, the, the lights in like we did on the 7. It'd be a lot of work, so... So, yeah, so in general, RV builders have places where they can do some custom custom yes. upgrades. Yes. Um, and this is one where you would say, worth it. Absolutely worth it. I can tell hands down just from the quality of the fiberglass when I opened the box, I was impressed. I mean, not that, not that Vans quality is bad. Vans is fantastic. Right. But this, is, this company you, is you part did, of their business. You feel like you paid for what you got kind of thing, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Cool. Yeah. And so then if others are interested, I mean, we can show other things like options that we chose for our plane. We certainly Because can. it might be interesting to some to just see the, you know, what could be options that they might like or may not want. Yeah. Like, I mean, 
I always appreciate a good review or absolutely. Overview. We have we have tons of stuff. I got a whole drawer full of <laughs> full of things we've been collecting. You know, right. one, of the, one of the things about the experimental aircraft uh, community, if you will, there are a lot of boutique shops. Yeah. That small business. We're we're big supporters of small business. That's great. But sometimes people do it as a little side hustle, and then they move on to something else. So if they make a really really great product. They might do it for a small amount of time. Like a couple years, and then they exactly. got to shut down production. Exactly. Like, great, great point. I mean, we, we already have our rudder pedal system. You know, we won't talk about a review of that tonight. That'd be but that would be another video. one we could talk about, we could yeah. rudders. We could do how I work with a company on our laser engraving of our fuel tank caps. I mean, there's lots of stuff. That there's we a lot want. of stuff you can, like, tweak and, and geek out on. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Okay. All Sounds right. good. All right, Christmas in July. Yay!